What's up guys, my name is Chris Kane and welcome to Let's Read, or play, whatever, The Average Everyday Adventures of Samantha Brown. Uh, this was a game I was suggested to check out, it, I actually did see this on Etchio before I was asked to check it out. Uh, it, it's a story about an introverted girl who apparently is just trying to make oatmeal, but there's like a bunch of other stuff going on. The art looks really nice, I, I think it's really cool, so who knows what the story's about, let's get into it. What the hell? That was weird. I didn't... Alright. Anyway. Let, wait, let me restart that, just in case. Hold on. Yeah, return to the main menu. Did I skip something by accident? That was a weird start. Let me see. Where to begin? Somewhere in the middle of a country lived a girl. Well, to be slightly more specific, the girl lived at a university in the middle of the country. She lived in one of the most remote dorms on the university campus. But no one at her school called it a dorm. They called it a flat. So that's what she called it. Her name was Samantha, and there wasn't anything particularly interesting about her. I dated a Samantha once. She was really cool. It was just another week weeknight, or maybe it was a week the weekend. Samantha wasn't entirely sure, nor does she really care. I've had days like that. Samantha spends most of her time alone in her room. The only time she's not in her room is when she's in class, at the library, or hiding in the corner somewhere drinking coffee. Oh, this... That's cool. I really love art games like this. It's, it's really cool. Uh, Samantha's been s sitting in her bed for the last six hours waiting for everyone to fall asleep. She's hoping to catch... She's hoping to catch the kitchen in a rare state of abandonment. And this is where we join her. Okay, that's a little bit of a problem. Like, even if you're not a real social person, you should still be try to be comfortable being around other people. Oh, but I forget. Watch out for the hunger meter. What? <laughs> I love the face of hunger. It's there to let you know how hungry Sam is getting. But be careful, too many wrong decisions and something terrible can happen. What do you mean by terrible? I guess I mean terrible. Extremely or distressingly bad or serious. Alright then. Ah, one more thing. To move forward in the story, simply click on the dialogue box. Uh, if you need to return to the main menu, click the upper left corner. Your progress will automatically save. Okay. Good luck. How hard could this be? I, I was freaked out for a second because I was hearing voices. Hey, what do you want to do today, my sweetness? <laughs> what the hell's going on in that video? There's death! Is that an ad? <laughs> Fuck the game, I want to watch that. He has like an infinity symbol on his forehead. What? This is a weird start. Like, I know ads are pretty ridiculous, but what is that? Anyway. Hey, not much. Just hung out with the cat. What about you? Me as usual. Did some did some homework, watched my show, drank some obscene amounts of coffee. Oh, uh, do you think anyone would be in the kitchen right now? I don't know. What time is it there? Oh, okay. This is like just a random stranger, I guess. Possibly. Just in a chat room. Also, why do you care if anyone's in the kitchen? Uh, it's kind of a weird thing to bring up, too. I, I don't think most people would tell the truth. And even if you do tell the truth, this person might get the idea that they're going to try to convince them. Nah, like, you know, it'll be all right. So, I guess make it an excuse. Oh, that was a bad one. Oh, okay. So don't don't think what most likely the person would do. Make the correct choice. Okay. Because I don't want to wake anyone up. I'm still hungry, though. Okay, my bad. I guess let's not get the meter all the way over there. Have you had dinner yet? Not really. Sam? <laughs> I was going to get food, then the grocery store closed, and I was watching my show, and I was all... I could go make oatmeal or just eat a flapjack from the vending machine. But I'm still not entirely sure what a flapjack is, so... 
Sam, don't be silly. Go make yourself some food. That's something I would say to somebody, because, like, somebody will always complain, like, oh, I, I uh, didn't eat breakfast. And I was like, it's super easy. It takes a minute. And he's like, well, no, it takes a while. I'm like, no, it doesn't. Fine, I swear if I see anyone. Okay, here I go. You can do it, Samantha. <laughs> I can do this. Uh, I just have to get out of bed, get the oatmeal, and walk to the kitchen. So yeah, I heard the whole goal of the game is just to make oatmeal. I think I mentioned that in the intro. People walk to kitchens every day. Alright. This game somewhat looks like that app that has all the cats on it. Can't remember what the name is, but... See, the oatmeal is just right over there. Three awesome flavors. Uh, I'm a fish... Okay, I'm officially out of bed. What kind of uh, oatmeal do I feel like today? Uh, if it was me, I, that's more of the traditional. I feel I'm feeling like blueberries. Blueberries are good. I do. I'm, do you not like blueberries? What? I'm sorry. Was there a was there a visual hint of what she likes? Maple. Wait, what? Well, I guess. I mean, it's not my favorite, but it'll do. Should I make one, two, or three packets? Is this game, like, hard? Is this like the impossible quiz? Well, you make two packets, obviously. Two seems appropriate. Two says, I'm hungry, but I'm not a cow. Two is totally a reasonable amount of oatmeal for anyone to eat. Ah, woo! I made a choice. Look at me, making choices like an adult. How old is she? She's in a flat. She should be, like, 20. Or 22 uh, or something. Wait a second, though. I still need something to eat this with. Ah, what do we have over here? Just a spoon and a cup. And now it's time to play. Oh, my God. It's like one of those random games. I like it. What's going to happen? I was not expecting this. I would always want love to be in a game show, but I not I wouldn't expect to be in a game show called Choose That Spoon. Am I supposed to click? Okay. The only game show where you choose that spoon. It's that boy. <laughs> it's the host. No. Please choose that spoon. Fuck's sake. Oh shit. You've won an amazing all purpose eating utensil worth of estimated value of two hundred fuck it. One hundred and ninety nine ninety five. Is she a really, like, does she just daydream all the time? Is that what this is? All right, now I just have to grab my mug and off we go. Don't drop that mug. Mug, check. Oatmeal, check. Spoon, yep. I think that's it. Wait a minute, just hang on a minute. What if someone's in the hallway? I mean, should I go out there? Re yes! Go ready. <laughs> I'm starting to think that's progression. Maybe, maybe I'm not, oh, fuck it. Whoa, I have to walk. Okay, wow, she's uh, starting not to like Samantha because she's complaining about very small things. Unless, I, I don't know, maybe she's has a really bad social anxiety, maybe, I don't know. I'm never going to make it. Uh, wait in your room longer. Move it late now. Take it slow. That, that shit's gonna go up no matter what I do. So I, I'm thinking I don't have to. I try not to hit the meter, uh, fill the meter up, but it looks like I have to. Just have to take a deep breath and everything will be fine. Now play a, a, a mini game, right? Everything's totally good. There, that's a little better. Just have to take this one step at a time. Thing is, I'm not a people per. I'm just not a people person. I tried to tell everyone, but did they listen? No. I mean, communal kitchens, that's the worst possible idea. Here you go, eat in front of a bunch of complete strangers. Why didn't this girl take online courses? But still, I commend her for still going to a public school, though. Or college. How about no? How about no and say we did? How about I eat in safety in the cover of my own room? No one would bother me then. Yeah, that's a much better idea. Uh, but here I am, creeping like a creeper. Blah. <laughs> Shit. Someone coming? False alarm. Onward. Did she just run to a random room? I just want to eat my oatmeal in peace. I don't want to see anyone. I don't want to hear anyone. I sure as hell don't want to talk to anyone. 
Because you know what? Last time I talked to someone, they told me I did my eyeliner wrong. Small eyes, that's what she told me. It made my eyes look small, and I should trust her because she knew how to do makeup. Well, what the hell am I doing? I wear makeup every day. Is she saying I don't know how to do my own makeup? Because that's super rude. Like, how about you refrain from talking about my face until we've <laughs> until we've known another for like five minutes? Oh my god, I thought on her shoulder was like hair. It's like she has a hairy arm. Uh, is that a light? Oh my god. What if people see me in there or worse? What if they... Wait, what? What if they want to eat with me? Okay, I read that differently. They're gonna eat me. It's alright. Should I go in? Run away. <laughs> it's alright. Don't want you to starve. Hi. See, look. No, they're, it's fine. They're talking. Should I say hello? Do people even say hello to... Wait, do people still say hello to another? One another? What should I do? Uh, I mean, you gotta, gotta get over this. Uh, hi. Is what I just did considered wasting time? Because she's gonna starve. What's up? Okay, you did it. Why aren't they saying hello? Do they think it's weird that I'm eating so late? Like, oh, she's probably already had dinner and now she's back for more? No. I could tell them I haven't eaten dinner yet. No, that's stupid. Why would I say that? Fine. Hmm. There, I made it. It's like half a... That's like half the battle. Okay, so I can't use any pots or pans because I don't technically own any, but there is a little ki electric ki kettle. I'm assuming anyone can use that. I mean, I remember in the student orientation guide, it said that all communal kitchens came with a kettle, so they must be talking about this kettle, I think. I never actually used one of these before, so I can't, it can't be hard to figure out. Still, you think they'd be instructed somewhere. Well, you could have brought the oatmeal box <laughs> with you. What's that coil about? Uh, oh, come on, that doesn't make any sense. Blah, I'm just going to fill up the kettle. What's the worst that can happen? Seems to be going well. Just have to avoid being electrocuted. Fair enough. Now what? Do I wait here until it heats up, or should I go back to my room? I wonder what everyone else does. I guess it doesn't make sense for me to go all the way back to my room, because then I'll have to walk all the way back. What should I do? No, wait here. Are you sure the kettle's on? I'll have a timer. Weird. Just wait here. Okay. Oh, the timer was not to make a decision. It was for the kettle. Alright. This is a cool game. I, I, I actually kind of like... I always like situational games. So this is a very different situation. And it's got a really cool art. Hope I'm not supposed to fail it. You know what? I didn't appreciate those girls. What? Okay. I'll just get these packets ready. All right. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. She's making the oatmeal in the cup. That's not a bad idea. Like I thought she was going to get something else with it. Give it a quick stir. And now... And now oops. I skipped another... All right. First of all, we don't know... There's no reason that they'd be laughing about you. I'm pretty anxiety is going up. Thanks, Sam. What the heck can I do to waste some time while this cooks? Because I can't just stand here looking like looking at the oatmeal like an idiot. Well, you gotta learn to not worry about what other people think. Yeah, cleaning. It's totally a normal person thing. Cleaning is a legitimate reason for someone to be in the kitchen for an extended period amount of time. There's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. Although this game is pretty good at like, uh, you know, uh, with the realism with what people could think if they have really bad social anxiety. And like, it's not, it's not abnormal. It's not abnormal to think that like, you know, when people people are laughing, sometimes you think like, oh, what did I do wrong? But at the same time, like, I remember. In, uh, 
took me until like eighth grade to realize like fuck whatever anyone thinks about me really don't even worry about it and, it, and the more you ignore like weird stuff like that you uh you get to live a much more peaceful life please oh please be something re resembling cooked food what happened it's not even close wait what how is this not even close to being done now what try the microwave reasonable thing to do we're gonna set fire to the flat <laughs> so we just wait oh, it's gonna overflow what do I do what do I do stir it like take it out and stir it yeah okay you're doing it girl you're fine guess I'll stir every few seconds it's taking forever. Yeah, I gotta cook it. You're getting there. You're not gonna starve. Put that adorable mug back in there. <laughs> It'll be alright. Mm-hmm. Nothing wrong with making a few mistakes. So my boy's freaking loud. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about it. Like, there's nothing awkward about this. You're just making yourself some food. You're just really worried about getting the attention of strangers and, like, thinking they're going to mess with you or something. Be alright. It's got to be getting close now. Ah, yeah, better safe than sorry. Why not? We don't want shitty oatmeal. That'd be fucking lame. But, yeah. All right, so based on the decisions that we're making in this game, she seems to be dealing with her social anxiety. It, hopefully that's what it is. Yeah, that's that's it. It's done. It's got to be. Fudge cake. Shit. How the hell am I... Just grab it and go. Maybe use your shirt. Don't grab with your hand anyway. Uh, guess I'll take out the cup first. Use my shirt like a glove. It's actually ingenious. Glad I thought of it. Yep. Yeah, just take it to your room. I'm leaving, so you can have your... Wait, she said that to them? <laughs> Wait, why did she say that comment? You can have your precious kitchen back. Gotta go. I just have to get back to my room. Almost there. I'll lock my door. Guess I should put the cup down. That's the only option I have. All right. Hopefully she doesn't kick it. Wait. Did you lock yourself out? Fuck! Wait. I can't believe I forgot my keys. I guess I'll just wait here till someone comes by. Shit. Bad ending? At least you have your oatmeal. At the very least you have your oatmeal. Oh shit. But what happened? Sam? Where are you? I'm worried. What? And she died. Bad ending. Oh <laughs> She forgot her key. Oh, you failed. Samantha's still hungry. Would you like to? Yes, I'll try. I'm not going to rage quit. What the fuck? Wait, what? Hang on a minute. What if someone's in the hallway? Maybe I should go out right this second. No. Are you sure you have everything? What about the things? <laughs> wow. Because I rushed her out the door? I didn't think about that. I, yeah, because she was just in her like sleep, you know, clothes. Man, if I forgot my keys, it would suck. I could die. Okay, I should put my cup down, probably. Yeah. So uh, when she asks, like, uh, is the kettle even on? 
Like, I forgot to select it again, but I'm pretty sure then you would get out there quicker. Oh, I made it. Yes. Hello, room. I miss you. Goodbye, world. Until tomorrow morning. I did it. I, Samantha H. Brown, have made oatmeal. And now I eat. And you know what? That wasn't even so bad. That cat in the corner is like, yeah. You've helped Samantha make oatmeal. <laughs> Made a huge mess. <laughs> okay. There's a huge mess in the corner. Don't worry about that. We did clean the kitchen. That was an interesting little short game. I'm glad I actually played it. I uh, didn't expect the random little uh, stuff, but it was really, it was really cute and fun. <laughs> All right. Yeah. No. It, short and sweet. I like it. Uh, yeah, I didn't I didn't think about the keys. I, I I don't know what I was thinking Any user telescope that's the name of the font Lemon suckers games Okay But yeah, no that was an interesting representation of like what could go through the mind of someone who's like really isolated I guess uh, and conquer your fear like I said just don't worry about what people think. You know, if you're that kind of person who, you know, is over worried about what people think about you, even if you're doing nothing, you're just sitting somewhere, but you think that just because I'm sitting here, it is a random example, like you're sitting by yourself that you just assume people are mentioning, hey, that person's by himself or something to that extent. Like, you know, you shouldn't, That that's not really a way of going about life. And also, even if they are saying something, you know, who gives a fuck? They don't know you. Especially if they're strangers and stuff, but, um... I, I don't, really, don't really have much more to say on the subject, you know, other than my personal experiences, where, like I said, around 8th grade, I, I didn't give a shit what people thought about me. Because uh, I would, you know, kind of have that personality a little bit at a young age, although I think that's kind of normal. But, uh... Yeah. All right, there's nothing really more to say about it. Like I said, I'd like to take more psychology courses uh, at some point in the future, go back to school and learn more about that stuff. But uh, it's interesting to talk about it in a game like this, and it was really well represented, I think. A little goofy, but you kind of need that for a game like this. You don't want it to be, like, fucking depressing. Really cute game. I like it. So feel free to suggest more just like this that I'd like to check out. But other than that, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.